Good morning. Today is the 27th day of September in this 2022nd year of our Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The sky is a little overcast this morning. The temperatures are a bit cooler than uh, they have been. Uh, I think we're preparing uh, for whatever rain and uh, storm may come from uh, the hurricane that's coming up. We pray for the people of Florida, for Cuba, that have been uh, being inundated with uh, winds and rains that are of hurricane force and pray their safety and protection. Uh, watch over them, O oh Lord, and grant them uh, your help and your hope and your peace through the storms of life. A reading today from John's Gospel in the eighth chapter. The Pharisees answered Jesus, We are descendants of Abraham and have never been in bondage to anyone. How is it that you say you will be made free? And Jesus answered them, Truly, truly, I say to you, everyone who commits sin is a slave to sin. The slave does not continue in the house forever. The son continues forever. So if the son makes you free, you will be free indeed. I know that you are descendants of Abraham. Yet you seek to kill me, because my words find no place in you. I speak of what I have seen with my father, and you do what you have heard from your father. They answered him, Abraham is our father. Jesus said to them, If you were Abraham's children, you would do what Abraham did. But now you seek to kill me, a man who has told you the truth which I heard from God. This is not what Abraham did. You do what your father did. <clears throat> and they said to him, We were not born of fornication. We have one father, even God. And Jesus said to them, If God is your father, you would love me. For I proceed and came forth from God. I came not of my own accord, but he sent me. Why do you not understand what I say? It is because you cannot bear to hear my word. You are of your father the devil, and your will is to be, is to do your father's desire. He was a murderer from the beginning, and has nothing to do with the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he lies, he speaks according to his own nature, for he is a liar and the father and the father of lies. But because I tell you the truth, you don't believe me. Which of you convicts me of sin? If I tell the truth, why do you not believe me? He who is of God hears the words of God. The reason why you do not hear them is that you are not of God. <clears throat> the Gospel of our Lord Jesus. Augustine, Bishop of Hippo, who lived between 354 and 430, uh, writes the following in uh, one of his works. This part of the human race to which God has promised pardon and a share of his eternal kingdom, can they be restored to the merit of their own works? God forbid. For what good works can a lost man perform, except so far as he has been delivered from perdition? Can they do anything by the free determination of their own will? Again, I say, God forbid. For it was by the evil use of his free will that man destroyed both it and himself. For as a man who kills himself must, of course, be alive when he kills himself, but after he has killed himself ceases to live and cannot restore himself to life. So when a man by his own free will sinned, then sin being victorious over him, the freedom of his will was lost. For of whom a man is overcome, of the same is he bought in brought in bondage, 2 Peter 2.19. This is the judgment of the Apostle Peter, and as it is certainly true 
What kind of liberty, I ask, can the bond slave possess, except when it pleases him to sin? For he is freely in bondage who does with pleasure the will of his master. Accordingly, he who is the servant of sin is free to sin. And hence, he will not be free to do right until, being freed from sin, he shall begin to be the servant of righteousness. And this is true liberty, for he has pleasure in the righteous deed. It is at the same time a holy bondage, for he is obedient to the will of God. But whence comes this liberty to do right to the man who is in bondage and sold under sin, except he be redeemed by him who has said, If the Son shall make you free, you shall be free indeed. John 8.36 And before this redemption is wrought in a man, when he is not yet free to do what is right, how can he talk of the freedom of his will and of his good works, except he be inflated by that foolish pride of boasting which the apostles restrained when he says, By grace you are saved through faith. Ephesians 2, 8. And let us pray. Lord, tis a mystery, the salvation that you offer us. For it is not something that we can hold and possess and accomplish on our own, but that we have faith and confidence in what you have done for us. That confident trust that your will is good, that your way is righteous, and that you alone can save. Grant us the freedom from our sin that we so try to overcome by our own actions and by our own choices. We are righteous alone by your good work, the work of your Son, Christ, who gave his life for the sake of humanity's sinfulness that we might be redeemed from said sin and delivered into your righteous way of life and your kingdom, which is forever. I thank you this day, O Lord, for the gift of salvation and hope that has come through Jesus. And I pray that I and we might walk in the light of his love for us, a love that is beyond our human comprehension, the kind of love that we would pour out for those that we love as he first loved us. We would give up those things that we would possess, those things that we hold as important to us, solely for the sake of delivering another from the wrath that is to come, or the lostness that we might sense because of our sinning. Grace us, O Lord, Give us your loving presence this day. Strengthen us in our journey that we might be good and true reflections of your love to this world. Give us thankful hearts for the blessings of a new day. Bring protection and help and hope to those that will face the storms of the days coming, that will have to endure through the winds and the rains of Hurricane Ian and Restore them when storms have passed. Protect us as well, O Lord, as we await its coming. Be of help to those in this world that suffer from drought, from famine, from the lack of food and sustenance. Grant those who live under the terror of war, the people of the Ukraine, who, that long for peace and the restoration of their land. Grant them that peace. Be of help and hope to those that seek your well-being and health and renewal. We pray for Bob Starr in his time of recovery, for Roger and Nancy and Hunter, for Nikki and Tom, Lisa, for Vanita, for Elaine, for Billy, for Evelyn Tompkins, James and Evelyn Ragg, for Miriam 
for Matthew, for others that are precious and dear to us that we commend to your loving care. Into your hands, O Lord, we commend all for whom we pray, trusting in your mercy through your Son, Jesus, who taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine on you, to be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you his peace. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, love and serve the Lord, this day and forevermore. Amen.